Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and I got a quick one for you. One Zero Miner released an update about two weeks ago that added a new tuning command for your GPUs. Now, One Zero Miner is strictly for NVIDIA GPUs, not AMD, so we couldn't test that. And even though I have a small sample size to provide to you as far as data, I still want to provide it to you. So with the new command, dash, dash NT, uh, which is the new tuning parameter, uh, you can kind of tune different valuations like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, or 32. I started playing around with it mining Dynex. Now, it's obviously going to depend upon a number of variables, right? Not all GPUs perform the same. Even though you can use the exact same overclocks as hashrate.no, it may not perform the same. Uh, but you just want to get in the ballpark, environmental, thermal conditions, so on and so forth. So not everything is going to perform the same. But the tuning parameters that I found that I like the most is actually 2 and 4. So the data that I have here is yes i can hit 5.2 kilohash uh or excuse me mega hash no yeah kilohash i don't know why there's a m up here uh because it is hashes uh and so 5.2 or 5200 which is about on par for what hash rate dot no shows they get close to 5.3 uh but they're doing it at 155 watts i can't get anywhere near that it doesn't matter what i do the gpu just wants to sit around that but i also have different core clocks, different mem clocks and everything. And I'm using Windows instead of Hive. Hive is a little bit more efficient or Linux-based mining operating system is a bit more efficient than Windows. So in the ballpark, but doesn't matter. When I apply the command dash dash NT4 or two, these are different parameters that we get. You can see the efficiency right here. Uh, and I guess number two and number four are my top ones that I like to use. I even have it applied to the 3060 the giveaway gpu uh which by the time you're watching this is uh ended already and should be going out to the winner and then the 3070 ti and you can see that it reduces the power draw the 3070 ti is sitting around 164 watts um and the 3060 is sitting at 107 and that's a little bit below what hash rate no shows including the hash rates a little bit lower than what hash rate no shows but I'm tuning more for efficiency and I'm still playing around with metrics, clocks, and parameters uh, that the command provides to us. But I just wanted to show you this data so that way you can see what's best for you. Test it out on your GPUs, one, one zero minor, and test it on various algorithms because we can probably get better results with other algorithms just by adding this command or this uh, argument inside your batch files or your Linux mining distribution, uh, whatever it might be. But I found, that NT2 and NT4 were best for my NVIDIA GPUs, which is an RTX 3080, 3070 Ti, and a 3060 when mining Dynex. Helps me cut down on the amount of power I'm using, uh, but still trying to keep the hash rate relatively good, right? So I can hit 4.9 uh, kilohash at 186 watts on NT2, but I'm only getting 4.5, so I lose almost, uh, what is that, 400 hashes almost? um for uh reducing the power draw by by five watts so uh nt2 is best for my 3080 but nt4 um i believe is what i'm using for the 3060 no i'm using two okay so for the 3060 and 3070 ti and you can see the commands that i put in here lock in the core clock lock in the memory clock and you can see the core clock isn't what hashrate.no shows on their website but check out the command I'll leave a link to one uh, zero miner, the latest update. It's two weeks old. By the time you're watching, it's going to be three weeks old. Um, but it definitely is pretty cool to reduce the power draw and improve efficiency of your overall GPUs, whatever it might be. But again, just for NVIDIA because it doesn't, uh, it, you know, AMD cards aren't able to mine with it. But that's going to do it for this quick video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.